In this video, we are going to create our de our de our database table, and we will uh, learn how you can use model uh, and with Bootstrap and how you can save data to the database. So let us go to the our project folder. Here, I will open the PowerShell. From here, I will just run the, a few comments, and I will tell you how it it works. First, we must have a table in our database, and we will create a migration for that. Then we have we need a model, and then we need a controller as well for that. I will do, use the command of php artisan make model make model will create a class the model class for us uh, for this project we will uh, create a category a category has a title it has a body and it has maybe a date or something like that maybe category do not have any body but we will create the body for so in the future we might uh, add some more description for our category that's why we will create those things for that so when i run this command it will create a class uh, a file with a class of category here if i write for example category it will create the the model for us the model will, will be always in our app directory which uh, i need uh, migration as well migration is the the table name on the database it will create the, a migration here if i want to uh, create model it will create just the model if i want to have the migration as well just pass the flag of m it will create both of them at the same time uh, again you can use the php or sun make migration as well which uh, that is a little long uh, this is the short way and i run the command now it should create one class for us here category and one file here for category migration if i go to the migration the the, the category migration here uh, i have the 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 class for the category i can just uh, start customizing and then migrate it to the database for our category we need a table uh, a title let's see if we need a title we use a string the, 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 the data type should be a string so i will give him a title what else we need for the category uh, mostly we don't need anything else maybe an slack if you are if you know about wordpress or something like that mostly in blogging they use slack or something like that but we will use uh, something else for description we will not use any slack we will just uh, put another field as well for the for the the description for that i will use a medium text function and here is a description for that now it will create the, the title and the description for us that will be okay for uh, our purpose since we are going to learn only how to use crat and that's why i'm going to add two field here mm, just to let you know how you can update data how can you can delete data how can you uh, uh, create data with the crat so it's fine for this one and we, you know we have the category it is the class if you don't know about level the basics uh, it is a bit hard to understand the MVC, but this category, as you know, the category of the class, the category extend the model. Model always an, uh, work with database. It just take data from database, it insert, it update, all of them. Uh, that is the job of the model. So this model for every table, we must have a model. Not for every table, most of them we need a table. Sometimes we do not need a, a model for that one so most of the time we need a model to create the talk to relate to to do any other queries so this is fine for this one i will just go to P php my admin just to show you that our uh, uh, table here our database we don't have any category right now here i will migrate to create the ca category table php artisan migrate it will migrate the database to here if i refresh now we have our categories with all the structure that we have put there. It is a description, medium text, watcher, that I, uh, it, the title is watcher191 as we put in the previous video in our app service provider here. So I will close this one. Now we have our categories here. Now I will change the link to category. Then we will start creating our category uh, with the uh, model. So I'll close this and this all I will come to to the view and I just create a new folder here category you can name it anything inside this one we have one index that not blade.php which uh, will extend the 
the master page which we are not going to okay let me insert that one as well add extends it will go to layouts dot master for now it will uh, it will use the layout dot master and we we don't need any other file for this one okay it's fine so far let's go and see what it is going to do so far it, it is not going to do anything we should change update the link as well i'll go to master here come down as you know the content will go here and there is the our link our link is here you can customize it any the, the way you want but i just put the category name here and the url will be there for the url we are going to use the url function inside this we are going to go to category it will go to our uh, crud.test slash category so for if i refresh this one as you can see in the bottom of the page here it is going to go to category we don't have uh, that page so let's create our route for that one because we do not have a route for that going to the route here we have this much route but i will uh, use a route of resourceful resource here when you use resource it will automatically uh, add all the functions that you see here in our controller which we do not have any controller yet we do not have any controller for the for our category so let's create the controller first then we will come and write our route here I will run the PHP artisan make controller I will name it category controller when I create the category controller as you can see it is here it is blank so what I want to have it just an index function the create function the update function all of those if you want to have all of those so I will go and delete this one for now and delete this one I will create a new one I will use this command php artisan make controller and uh, the flag will be r r for resource and it will create all the function like index all of those functions for us this time if you see the the our category controller has the index fu function the category function and the store function as well so we might not use most of them but if it is there it is good I will come to the web and this time we will uncomment and write our resource this is going to be for category and it will reference the uh, our controller which is category controller i'll save this one now we have four routes for this for the category if you want to check the route just come here and use php artisan route list it will list all the routes that you have in your project as you can see uh, for our category controller we have a uh, category that is store that index that create update and show all of them are here in this just re resource will uh, register all of them otherwise if you want you can use get and post for uh, each function separately which will take a lot of time for you and it will save a lot of coding as well and okay right now i'll come this time if i refresh the page we do not see the 404 page because this time when we reference the function in our index as you can see index category it will go to the category and the category will uh, reference us to this function the index one the index will show the home page if i return something from here return categories save it refresh the page as you can see it is categories which we are not going to return any text we will return the view for this one we will use view and here we will go to category dot index as you know it, this is the, our view it will go to the folder of category okay it is category I think. Okay. it will go here and index that blade that php if i refresh this time it will load uh, our index page we know this one is also extra we can remove this uh, by going to the, our master page 
and here is our header code I think it should be there yes we don't need any section header here save it and now if I refresh this it will show nothing here now I want uh, to display all the categories here which we do not have anyone yet but I will just uh, display the content here so uh, anything I write in the index should be written there I will create a section for this one and I will name it content and and section for example if I just write h3 of all categories now I should yield it there to display inside the content of our admin template I can use the yield content save it refresh the page it should show all the categories here now we will uh, use a, a model window to create the model window with bootstrap as you know if I open the admin temp the admin LT it has the um, model window here I will show you quick if I come to elements uh, in the model as you can see here we have model window and we use model window to create our data to the database we will save data for example we will have a button here it should uh, when you click on the button it should uh, open a model window and save the data on the database when we fill the, 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 the form so we need a button and a model window as you can see they, they have the button I can just go to the bootstrap website as well get bootstrap currently it is the version 4 we, we are using version 3 so I will switch to version 3.7 and I will go to the JavaScript part here is the model window as you can see here is the model we can use they have rule and they have all other things as well I'll just copy this code for now and I'll come here in our index inside this one I'll create the, the paste the code this time if I refresh this our page it must have a, a, a window a button that uh, open a model window like this one as you can see this is a very good looking model window it is a big button I will use a small button as you can see there is a ton model big we will change the title to new or add new save the page refresh it as you can see it is add new we'll change the title as well to new category save it refresh the page and will it should uh, create a new category for us we will, we will add the form as well save changes like close they should be like this it is going to be safe it changes safe should be there because we are not updating anything the body should be here for the body we will use the form first we need to open the form here okay and the form will be closed there we will add all of this inside our form because the form will finish here and the action of the form will be post because it is going to post and the method uh, so I will use the route here I will name the route you know when we run the route list it will just uh, list all the route name here we can use the name of this for example category dot store this will uh, call the store function in our category controller I will use the category dot store here it will call this function the store we don't need to use credit credit uh, mostly they use for displaying the form which we are not going to display that on the separate page we will display on the same uh, model window here so if I refresh the page go here now in inspect element it should show the form that it will send here and we have not specified the method for the form it will be post I'll save it again and now it should post data to this to this page now we have we must have a title here I'll just uh, use some label for title I'll quickly do this one and you, you can just skip this part because it is easy 
yes here is our form it is very simple form uh, as you can see there is nothing fancy here it's just HTML code and I will refresh the page yes it should show something like this if you put the title here description and then you can save it it should send the data yeah, let's say okay going to the gym is not a category but we will save it it should send the data as you know it is the, the save is not working because the type is but button it should be submit to submit the data now i'll reload the page this time it should send us to here as you know this will this page will show this error this is this is something that uh, you should know about level 5.5 it is not going to give you an error because we have not used csra field for our form that's why it it, it is going to give that error so i will put the c s r f underscore field the function here this time if i okay refresh the page and submit the form this time it should not give us an error because it is sending the data to this page if i come here to prove uh, that the data is being sent here return and i return the the request all. save it and this time i just come here and put a little title for this one let's say going to the gym okay just save it and as you know this is going to send the title and the description as it is the csrf token is here so we know that it is sending the data we can now save it into the database so i think this video is going to be too long and in the next video we will save it to the database